This is going to be braised shiitakes with tofu and peppers. So we're going to make a really simple braising liquid okay. um, from water <clears throat> and rice vinegar, fresh ginger, um, shallots, a little bit of salt, and this is red miso, so fermented bean paste um, mm -hmm. from Japan. Uh, really is gonna provide that, what we really love on our palates now, which is umami flavors, big flavors. Yeah. That other sense of taste, okay. so interesting. What? So you guys combine all those, and then we're gonna put Does these Does it matter which order? Um, I'll tell you if you're wrong. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, no. don't even mess with me. All Come of on, it? Bring it on, bring it on. All of it? Yeah, all of it. Okay. All of it. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. no I don't just kidding, don't, just kidding. No, okay, just vinegar. Keep going. Vinegar. Are you not going to let Kelly do anything? <laughs> oh, she's okay, shallots. okay, shallots, shallots. Oh. Okay. Get those shallots, shallots in there. In. Shallots in. Okay, salt. All right. Yep. And, salt. and now salt we're again? cooking. This is going to be braised shiitakes with tofu and peppers. Can you I've say got... that backwards? <laughs> no. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Oh, no. and then we got to break that up, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, break up that miso so it sort of dilutes into it, and that's mm -hmm. going to provide this beautiful, simple broth. It's like miso okay. soup right here. This and like Kelly, I want you to shove all oh, those in there. You got it. All right. So you don't chop them up or anything. A little bit. Now we're just going to braise them whole. Wow. And then nice. we've got these chilies. These are bird's eye chilies. Um, they're going to be very, um, they're very spicy, but they're very popular in Thai food. So we've pulled out most mm -hmm. of the seeds and sliced those into rings. Okay. You're just gonna get those in there, and All you're right. gonna cap it up. Do they have to submerge under the water? Or no, no, because there's, the steam's gonna go over them, okay. and that's really gonna, gonna melt them down. It in there. And it's gonna be and gonna so become. And so you leave it for how long? You're gonna leave it for an hour. For an hour. And that's on high. And then what we've got in this oh, is wow. this is the finished result. So you've got this beautiful, clear, almost consomme-like uh, mushroom broth that's uh -huh. exuded from this. You've got the shallots cooked. You've got the chilies cooked. And then this tofu, what I've done is I took a slab of firm tofu and pressed it between two plates overnight with a bit of a weight on top. And what that does, it expels the, any excess water that's in oh, there. Because okay. we don't need that, so we want to kind of be firm at this point. And we're Wonderful. gonna put those in there. Awesome. And then we're gonna put these uh, chilies in. And I'm just going to season lightly, and then this would cook for another hour. Awesome. So, you know, the slow cooker, when we think about it, it's not always cooking for like 24 hours yeah. or whatever. Sometimes they're quick and simple. That's yeah. red and yellow pepper, right? So That's wonderful. red and yellow pepper, sweet bells. Okay. And then I've got a bunch of Thai basil, but we're just going to tear it up and put it on. This is served over rice. But to me, this is a lot of the, we want to feel healthy these days. Yeah. This is the food that we can all cook readily and simply and economically. Absolutely. This is not expensive. With this, I'd want some crusty bread, maybe a little salami on the side to change it up a little bit. Interesting. But this is really How just really simple. How do you come really up with simple. new recipes? Um, you know, kind of a bit based in the idea of what's historically been done with food. I'm looking mm -hmm. for beautiful tastes and flavors and synergies that work together. But I just want to simplify it for the home and make it accessible. Nice. All my cookbooks are really meant for you to really cook from. You guys aren't eating? Oh, are you're you, eating. You're about oh. done with yours. Uh -huh. Shall we dive in? Dive on in. All now, right. we've been asking our, our chefs a series of questions, kind of rapid fire questions. I can do rapid So, we're going to give you some rapid fire chef questions, okay? okay I'm going to answer really hmm. weirdly, though. What is the most useless tool in the kitchen, you think? I, I, I open the cupboard. There's like five of them in there usually, but the, but the bread maker thing. Bread makers. That wasn't very cool. Yeah. Passion outside of the kitchen. Being a father to my wonderful daughters. Oh. Like, how old are they? They're, oh, geez, for uh, 14 to <laughs> 16. Going on 14, 45. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite breakfast? Uh, really good coffee. I went to Crema in Nashville this morning. That was oh, great. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see, what do I love? I love a really simple, uh, soft, soft scrambled eggs with rye toast and a little bit of fruit. I like a simple way to yeah. just end Just once, I want a chef to say Count Chocula. <laughs> like, or like, tr like tricks. <laughs> We Some... weren't allowed to buy those. Certainly. Oh man! Oh, just was like I love a bowl. Favorite of dessert? Charm. Chess pie. Mm. Southern classic, classic southern. Yeah. Chess pie. Right. The best meal someone else has cooked for you. Really good sushi, and sitting at a sushi bar in New York at a really good sushi place and watching them work is always just a, yeah, it's cool. oh, a yeah. thing of beauty. Best meal setting. My cottage in Ontario, Canada. Oh, wonderful. I bet that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. If you could invite anyone to dinner, dead or alive, who would it be? My dad and my kids. Is that your Aww. kids? Yeah. Oh, you want to hang out with Sweet. people you love. Wait. I mean, I can, you know, it could be like Tom Waits and people like that, too. Yeah, but, that, that, you know, that's whatever. It. Yeah. It's your dream, pal. That's you right. Know, I'm going to live it. Right. Forwards and backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, yeah. baby. Thank you. Hughes book, The Chef and the Slow Cooker.
is available now. For more information, go to PeopleInBend.com.